Exosomes are basically the signal molecules that we obtain from the stem cells. Because stem cells, they have high potency of differentiation, which means once injected on the injection site, whatever is lacking, they can convert themselves to, to those cells. And we obtain these exosomes from the placenta. So after the extraction of stem cells, it is purified and we also increase them in count. And this formulation has signal molecules in it. Once injected at our practice, we are planning to improve our results. It has a variety of applications, but at our practice, we will be using it to improve the survival rate and improve our patient's existing hairs. It can be used to address hair loss, but apart from hair loss, it can be also used for skin rejuvenation, rejuvenization. And as they work like a porter, it is also used to carry certain types of medications. So therefore, it is also used for cancer treatments, for example. So that way, the medications can be transported to the needed places without affecting the other cells, other uh, healthy cells. It is also an application of uh, a field of application, the cancer treatment. The needles that we are using, they are pretty small and our patients receive painkiller before the injections. The pain should be minimal. We will be injecting these exosomes one centimeter from each other, apart from each other, and we will be addressing all the affected areas. And after a few months, we should start to see improvement. Exosomes are purified and they don't carry any antigens of them which means the body cannot react to it because it does not carry a foreign molecule. So therefore, once injected, the patient shouldn't show any reactions to the injections. And apart from sensitive scalp for the rest of the day, I don't think there would be any other issues. I would say patients who have hair loss and who are improving, who are expecting to improve their results, they can go for exosome treatment. Because this will not only help with the existing hairs, but with the transplant hairs also. Therefore, we will be maximizing the effect because our patients' existing hairs also will benefit from this and contribute to end density. So I would say whether patients have some existing hairs or even if they don't have anything on their scalp after the transplant they will be maximizing their survival rate.